What if I told you that hacking doesn't look like a hoodie, a dark basement, or a wall of green code? In fact, you're closer to becoming a hacker than you think. Because the real way hackers break into your phone, your accounts, and your entire life is stupidly simple. And almost no one is talking about it. Yes, this video is exactly what the title promised. You'll finally understand how hacking actually works in a way that anyone can follow, even if you've never written a single line of code. But here's the twist. The biggest hacks happening right now aren't done by code wizards. They're done by people who understand behavior. And by the end of this video, not only will you know how to hack, ethically, but you'll also know how to protect yourself from the same methods used against you. Let's go inside the mind of a hacker. This video is for ethical hacking and educational purposes only. We do not promote illegal activity. Black hat hacking can get you arrested, sued, or worse. What you're about to learn is meant to empower security professionals and anyone who cares about their digital safety. So, here's the simple five-step hacking blueprint you're about to learn. These are the exact phases hackers use, from setup to silent exit. Let's jump into step one, setting up your environment. Your tools are only as powerful as the environment you build. Most hackers start by installing Kali Linux or Parrot OS, both tailored for penetration testing. But installing is just the beginning. You must configure your system, adjust network settings, disable firewalls that block scanning tools, and optimize your system for stealth and performance. Want to go full anonymous mode? Set up a Honix virtual machine inside Cubes OS. This stacks multiple layers of anonymity, making you practically invisible to most forms of surveillance. Oh, and don't forget, even ethical hackers use sandbox labs like Hack the Box or Try Hack Me to practice legally and safely. Now, let's continue with step two, reconnaissance. Before a hacker can strike, they need to understand the target. And this step is all about one thing, Intel. Hackers use tools like Nmap to scan for open ports and services. They'll analyze websites, emails, subdomains, DNS records, and even LinkedIn profiles to find weaknesses. Want an example? Hey, sorry for interrupting your video, but I wanted to know, are you interested in building a career in ethical hacking? We created Learn Ethical Hacking from Scratch course just for you and it's the perfect way to get started. In this course, you will learn how ethical hackers find vulnerabilities in your system, networks, and applications. You will learn hands-on skills like penetration testing, exploiting the weakness in a system, and all the tools that hackers use. You will also learn how to stay on the right side of the law. Cybersecurity is one of the fastest growing industries in the world and hackers are high in demand. The global cybersecurity market is expected to reach $400 billion by 2028. There has never been a better time for you to jump in. Ethical hackers earn from $90,000 US dollars to $120,000 US dollars annually. Experts in this field make even more. So are you ready to kickstart your journey into ethical hacking? This course is your key to mastering hacking. We have placed the link to this course in the description. Enroll today and get started on a lucrative career path. Now back to the video. A hacker might discover your office uses an outdated WordPress site on port 8080 they'll log that as a potential vulnerability. But the craziest part? Many don't even need tools. Using social engineering, hackers extract secrets from humans. They'll call pretending to be IT or message pretending to be HR, tricking you into clicking a link or sharing your password. 95% of breaches come from human error, not software flaws. Up next is scanning and vulnerability analysis. This is where things get serious. After gathering intel, the hacker uses tools like Nessus, OpenVos, or Burp Suite to automate the hunt for weak points. They'll look for unpatched software, default credentials, like admin colon admin, misconfigured servers, 
Known CVEs, Common Vulnerabilities and Exposures. A patient hacker will go deep, scanning every endpoint, testing every input field, fuzzing APIs until something cracks. And here's a chilling truth. Some systems stay vulnerable for years, simply because no one ever bothered to look. But once a hacker finds that crack in the wall, everything changes. Now, step four, exploitation. This is the part Hollywood loves to glamorize. The moment access is gained, walls are bypassed, and the hacker steps inside. Using tools like Metasploit, SQLMap, or ExploitDB, hackers launch targeted payloads to breach the system. Found a vulnerable port? Use a remote code execution exploit. Weak login page? Try credential stuffing or brute force attacks. Found an XSS? Inject scripts to steal session tokens. Once inside, they might elevate privileges to get root access. Install backdoors for future control. Dump passwords and sensitive data. This is the turning point, where a vulnerable system becomes a compromised system. But for real hackers, just getting in isn't enough. What if the system reboots? What if the vulnerability gets patched? What if someone notices? That's why step five is so critical, maintaining access. Getting in is great. Staying in is the real flex. Hackers use tools like Netcat, Reverse Shells, and RAT, Remote Access Trojans, to keep access over time. They'll set up persistent scripts that relaunch every reboot, or even implant malware that auto-connects to their control server. Some go further, modifying firmware or BIOS to survive full system reinstalls. If this sounds like spy movie level hacking, it kind of is, but it happens a lot. Now let's talk about covering tracks. So no one knows you were ever there. The best hackers erase their footprints, clearing access logs, scrubbing shell history, using anti-forensics tools like timestamp to fake timestamps. They may even manipulate logs to frame someone else or simulate normal system behavior. The goal? leave no clue you were ever there. But here's what most hackers don't tell you. It's not about tools or even talent. The best hackers, they're strategic, patient, always learning. They understand psychology, networks, people, and they constantly evolve because in cybersecurity, what worked last year is already outdated. Okay, so want to start ethically? Start simple. Download Kali Linux or try tryhackme.com, a legal playground for hackers. No police, no lawsuits, just puzzles, challenges, and community. So, how do you start ethically? The best way? Stay curious, practice legally, and sharpen your skills in safe, controlled environments, like virtual labs and CTF challenges. The truth is the best hackers didn't start with experience. They started with obsession, a need to understand how things work and how to break them responsibly. You now understand the blueprint from reconnaissance to silence. You came here thinking hacking was complicated, reserved for coders or criminals. But now you know, hacking is a step-by-step -step science. You set up your tools, gather data, find a weak point, exploit it, stay in, wipe your tracks. It's simple, not easy, but simple. And now you have the blueprint. Remember, the easiest way to get hacked is to believe you can't be. So if you found this helpful, drop a like, comment your favorite tool or tactic, and share this with someone who still thinks hacking is just something from movies. Because the truth? Hacking isn't fiction anymore. It's happening right now. And the only question is, are you ready for it?